Here we are. <laughs> hey, good evening. Welcome to Isaac News. If you haven't noticed, we are not the one and only Life Sensei. He is a little under the weather, so he has graciously allowed us to do his program for you this evening. And we are Life Sensei Dad, and my partner is Life Sensei Mom. We'd like to do a disclaimer right away that the uh, opinions heard tonight do not necessarily reflect Isaac News and its affiliates. They just simply reflect Papa and Mama. Probably mostly Papa. <laughs> also, to start off, I'd like to say that the uh, make sure please to tag hashtag live or hashtag replay in the comments in the comment section so we can track. Uh, it's a good reason we're tracking. It's not like the government tracking you. <laughs> so, but the news is the logo has been made for Isaac News. So, Sorry. from uh, this. Starting now in three weeks, we're going to be taking account of the people who have been watching, and we're going to do a raffle. So we're going to draw for a t-shirt, and it's going to have the official Isaac News logo on it. It's gold. It's got a lighthouse. It shines, and we are just so thrilled to be here tonight. Okay, let's uh, start off with a little history today. As we all know, this week started the Olympics. It's a year late, thanks to COVID. But uh, our history today is the first uh, modern Olympic event in 18, uh, 1896 had 43 events. The Olympics today have 339 events in 33 sports. So with that, grasshoppers, welcome to the dojo. <laughs> we'll start off with our questions. All right, our first uh, question is from Curious. And Life Sensei Dad, when did you know Lorene was the one? Who's starting off with that? <laughs> um, <laughs> about five seconds after I met her. So, but I can tell you more importantly, though, that I was driving back with my father uh, in between, for those of you that know Northeast Montana, in between Four Buttes and uh, Bill Flattiger's place. I was riding in a pickup with him, and I, I looked at him. I, I, I think I was driving. I'm not sure. One of us was, obviously. And I looked at him, and I just said, I'm going to marry her. And then, if you know the rest of the story, it kind of went a little longer than that. But I knew from uh, an early time I wanted to marry her, and uh, I've never regretted it since, ever. Thank you. All right. Curious again. Life Sensei's mom. When did you know Alf was the one? Um, for me, <clears throat> it was a lot of uh, moment. There wasn't one particular moment. It was many little moments of uh, just his amazing stuff with um, the way he treated me, the way he treated his mom, the way he treated um, children. It just all was so special to me, and I just knew I'd love to spend the rest of my life with him. Oh, sweet. <laughs> All right. Help. Advice, please. How do you both stay grounded and calm during very stressful times or moments, especially as a parent? Quick interruption. <laughs> Victoria says hello. Oh. oh. Hi, Victoria. It's Where, nice do to we see. not see these? Oh, there it is. Oh, look at all the great, great. And they always appear twice for me for some reason. Okay. okay. We'll hello, Victoria. Hi. You. Nice. I'm glad you joined us. And Catherine's here, Rhonda's here, Horner Dudes are here. Gotcha. Great. All right, thanks. So, uh, without a doubt, the, the uh, way that we handle it the best and the way we've tried to do it all the time, and by no means perfect, in, but it is we, we put God at the forefront. We, we try. We try to put God at the forefront of everything. So my wife is, is way better at that than I am. Yeah, I would agree on that. Uh, we talk to each other, try to keep the lines of communication open. Um, 
grounded and calm. Yes, definitely on the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, there are many scripture verses. A couple I like to cling to are Jeremiah 33.3 3 and Psalm 119.81 that just talk about uh, you can call to him anytime and he will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know and um, just to cling to him with your whole heart. All right. A good question, one. though. Thank you. Yes. All right, this one is from Lottery. If you won a million dollars, ties, charities, and any debt already paid, what would you do with it? <laughs> this is a game he loves to play. Yeah, uh, so a million dollars is unfortunately not that much money nowadays. So we're going to bump it up to about $10 million. So uh, I, I'll, in my heart, I'll turn it over to my, my co-host here in a second. But in my, my thing... It's actually near and dear to my heart since I've been to Africa on some missions with the army, uh, it, digging wells. So I, I would I would definitely try to start a charity. And when I was in Liberia, they they need shoes over there. Uh, that's a so, so shoes and wells. Also, Operation um, Smile. Operation Smile, and that 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 provides no cost operations for uh, young children so so after charities though this said yes even ap after that that would be just something i would start i wouldn't consider that a charity <laughs> it's just i would just uh, really like that so what would you do with well, any of your money you're a lot more uh, compassionate than i am i would hire a personal trainer and get in shape and <laughs> mm. um a nutritionist and um then i would if we had enough money i'd love to hire a pilot who could fly me to see my grandson anytime i wanted to go see him hmm, that's a good one too <laughs> I, I guess jazz will tell you what then i would buy the ultimate chris vector so <laughs> that is a beautiful weapon and i would finally be able to get one so right. great question i appreciate that thank you number five concord crocodile <laughs> crocodile hunter hmm. what kind of reptile would you keep as a pet Isaac said his brother had a lizard and a ball python. Well, I would not have My son a put a so. python on my head after I came back from my last deployment. And I, if you can ever want to see the video, just uh, text Life Sensei and we'll, we'll put it on. I, I screamed like a young, young, young girl. It was um, pretty freaky. But um, also, I distinctly remember I did not say what kind of snake my brother had. <laughs> So I wonder who wrote so this question. So I think you're revealing yourself there, bro. Oh. So, <laughs> um, it would not be a tarantula. So I even though that's not a reptile, but <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, but I just would not have a reptile as a pet. I don't think so. But I'll, I, with that million dollars, maybe I'd hire somebody who would have a reptile as a pet. All right, one more question, and then we'll go to our philosophy. Oh, Anna says you look cute. I know. Thank you, Anna. You're always so supportive and kind. This is from Tina, asking LSD, Life Sensei Dad. Hmm. What is your favorite part of being a dad? Hmm. Everything. I truly enjoyed the whole dad experience. That's not saying I've done everything perfect. You can ask my partner. Uh, I probably... You know, gotten out of a few things. I did not touch a diaper until I, uh, my oldest was six months old. I just not have always done everything proper, probably, but I've just enjoyed the whole experience. Uh, it has been the, the greatest honor I've ever that's ever been bestowed upon me is being a dad. So Anna is with you on never wanting a reptile, and Horner dudes say yes, they want to see that video. <laughs> okay, we'll do our best to get it, and we'll see what we can come up with. All right, philosophy phrases. All right, so the ph ph philosophy phrase that I have was, in learning you will teach, in teaching you will learn. And that's by no, no one other than the mighty PC Phil Collins from the movie Tarzan. If you remember that in that little that little scene where Tarzan's growing up and he's having a hard time and Kerchak, that mean, mean monkey, just uh, he won't take the time for poor Tarzan. Technically, he's an ape, not a monkey. Mm, that is true. That is true. So, that's, that's, it's something to learn. And being a, a leader, 
at all times. I think especially being now we're going to talk about being a parent, but I'll just talk about being a dad. You can refer, you can, you can learn from that. Learning, teaching your kids, you can learn from your kids and learn from your kids. You can help teach them. I sure found that as a school teacher too. I learned so much once I started teaching school. Quick announcement. Oh, Sorry, we're going to be getting into a new section that I am proud to announce. It's called Movie Madness with LSD, Life Sensei's Dad, not Drugs. Get your hip mind out of the gutter, fellow in-crowd members. And this week, uh, LSD is going to be do- giving us a review about which movie. Today we'll be going over the movie Unhinged. And how did right. that Unhinged is a movie from uh, director Derek Bort. It was in theaters in August of 2020 we just saw it last night two nights ago maybe on um hulu (sighs) it's rated r and it was well moving on so (laughs) set in a very large let me get my let me get my review sheet here set in a very large city unhinged tells the story of rachel played by karen pistorius a single mom who's already having a rough day she has a run-in with Russell Crowe's character, nicknamed The Man. That's all he's known about in the movie. He's only known as The Man. He's had a very, very, very bad day. It's to point out that Russell Crowe gained an enormous amount of weight for this movie, but he also wear, wore a, what did you call prosthetic it? A prosthetic belly. So he looks like a, he looks like something ate Russell Crowe. So... If there's an underlying message in it, it would have to be, be nice to people you don't know. Because if this lady would have been nice to Russell Crowe, actually this movie would never have happened and it would have just blessed the world all the more. But it happened. (laughs) So, the movie is rated R for extreme violence and gore, which they don't tell you the gore, they just call it extreme violence. And it really teaches no good values at all. There's no reason to waste your time watching this flick. The acting was subpar, the directing wasn't where it needed to be, and the action scenes were boring and gave nothing new to the genre. It just proves the point, once again, that Hollywood is getting bored and they just are showing their unoriginality. If you want to watch a good movie, watch The Croods Part 2. All right, we watched that the next night. So I won't give the review of that movie, but I fully endorse The Croods Part 2. New but age. a new age. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So for the for unhinged, I give it zero out of five stars. I give Ouch. it the lowest I could give it. There's absolutely nothing. We fast forwarded through it. It is. Uh, it was a waste of my time, and uh, there was nothing good that it left in me as a human being. So uh, I'm sorry. You know, I wasted my time doing it, and I will not recommend it again. So, that being said, let's get back to the questions. And don't forget to please put in hashtag live or hashtag replay. replay. Thank you. All right. We are on to number seven. You guys are doing great. Uh, You are. We're learning. All right. My dad has a sound machine. (laughs) And he loves it. This is from Sam. This one is for LSD. Okay. I hear you have watched your fair share of movies. Oh. What is your favorite of all time? What genre is your favorite? Can you recommend a good family movie? And finally, oh. would you ever consider being a movie critic on YouTube? Thanks for filling in for Life Sensei. He's the best. So sure. you've got three or four questions there. Okay, so thank you for your question. I really appreciate it. Um, my favorite genre is a lot of things that's not real. Okay, not reality. Excuse me, sorry. I do not like uh, movies. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't like. Um, overall, I don't like real movies based on true stories. Overall, there are notable exceptions. Uh, the Walt Disney movie uh, about the cross country with Kevin Costner in a predominantly Hispanic town which is not on Disney yet, but it should be. McLaughlin, I think. McLaughlin, USA. Highly recommend that. Both is a family movie and one of my favorite movies, I come to think of it. But uh, my favorite movies, in no particular order, uh, 
Aliens from 1986, but Walt Disney's got uh, Robin Hood and Tarzan, uh, 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, and uh, Armageddon with Bruce Willis. And I could list a few more, but I'd like as uh, far as uh, good family films, the Ice Age movies are are good. They they never age. And and the Crudes, like I, I said, Crudes Part Two. That's a great movie. Lorraine, what do you what do you have? Any 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 movies well, that you recommend? This one's for you, but, but. Um, <laughs> I don't have a particular movie. The oldies like Sound of Music and oh, yeah. Follow Me, Boys. I like that one. Um, but also, we have been binging The Chosen season two this weekend, and I highly recommend The Chosen. It's movie. it's not technically a movie, but it is worth watching. Mm-hmm. Um, also, would you consider being a critic on YouTube? The questions asking. I would be. I would consider being a critic anywhere, anytime, any place <laughs> on anything. I can critique <laughs> anything. Yes, I, I I love movies. I think it's probably my forte in life that I might have missed. So. So you've got some comments here. All right, let's see. Clifford is saying, "LSD, tell us how you really feel." <laughs> I'm sorry. It was a terrible movie. It was just horrible. I can't stand bad movies. Oh. Unless you're meant to be bad. Andrew says you've missed The Phantom Menace. Oh. That's one of your favorite movies. Oh, man. No, that, no that's bad. <laughs> that, that's a bad movie. Rhonda says, true, they can't really think of anything new. They just redo old movies all the time. And they overall don't do them better. That's right, Rhonda. Yeah. Okay. Sandy says, okay. asking LSD, have you had a favorite pet? And if so... What made this one your favorite? Hmm. Do you have a pet now? Why or why not? All right, let's. We do not have a pet now, uh, mostly because we just when we got rid of our last two pets, it was kind of painful. And we, when I mean got rid of them, we the boys them gave them away to loving homes. We checked the homes out and everything when we before we went to Germany, and it was very painful. I don't like having to get rid of family members, so. Uh, my favorite pet of all time, though, was my wire-haired fox terrier, Alex, which ironically was not my wire-haired fox terrier. I gave her to my fiance, then fiance. <laughs> I and know her face. I wanted her. I wanted yes, her. Yes, and then Lorene was teaching, and I was kind of a bum, so I was a bartender, so I did not have to work. You know, crazy. Anyway, so then Alex spent a lot of time with me, and I grew uh, very attached to her. Um, Anna, I love Follow Me Boys thanks to me. Thank you for getting it for me while I was there this last time. It was so much fun to watch it with you. All right, question nine. Confused. Is there really much difference between alligators and crocodiles? Yes. Overall, crocodiles are way bigger. You get the saltwater croc. Really? Which is, yeah. you do a lot of times, she, she can go into the 20s, you know, eight, 16 to 20 some feet. Not, it's not unheard of. And alligators are are smaller and mostly in America. There's an American crocodile in Florida, but not much. But And their heads are different. I'm trying to get out of the shade here. Uh, the light. The, yep, so the, the crocodile has a, uh, a more of a, a shorter snout. And the alligator has a, a longer snout. So, but in terms of scary... The alligator has a longer snout? Yes. The it, crocodile has more of a blunt nose. Okay. So, Interesting. All right. Great question. All right. Question 10. A little frustrated. How have you and how do you as a couple divide your household chores? I don't want to answer this, but to be honest, I give all credit to my wife. She does a lot, if not most, of the household chores. I was not brought up proper. Charm she, says she's not. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, here we go. And here's my partner. <laughs> well, I don't think um, we ever kept score of who's doing what and who's doing that. I, For me personally, um, it is loving to me to have people offer to help and um, then to be there for moral support. Um, 
Alf does a lot of things that he doesn't get credit for. And I do feel when he's working full time, I don't mind picking up more of the slack. But when he's not, then I love when we can kind of share responsibility. Also, I can be kind of fussy, so I don't think it's always that fun for him to, <laughs> to share chores with me. So, all right, um, we got to catch up on some stuff Charm here. Charm says she knows there's a difference between alligators and crocodiles, but I don't care. I would just run. Ain't interested in the snail boots. <laughs> All right, and my husband does most of the cooking. I clean up. Um, he is uh, good at barbecuing and grilling, and now he is really into an air fryer. So he does do some of the cooking. Which, too. if we ever get to host again, we should do an air fry special. I highly recommend air fryers. You just... Mm. Sounds like a question. All right, question 11. Color. What are your favorite colors and why? Please, you can do this. Well, I would say um, I have a hard time picking, but blue is probably my all-time favorite color, and I think I mainly got that because my mom had everything in our house pretty much blue because of my dad coming from Denmark, and so we had the Danish blue as our most of our decor in our house, and I do love blue. As you can see, we're wearing blue tonight. <laughs> Twinsies. But I do love pink, too, and purple. Go ahead. I, I like any color that makes me look like I'm 30 pounds less than I am. So uh, black is nice, but I mean, as you can tell, I wear blue. I, I just basically try to co you know, copy my wife and whatever I can do to, uh, you know, make her look happy or make her be compliment her when, when we're out. Charm, I'm glad we're in the same camp of blue. Um, Horner dudes say yes, air fryers for the win, definitely. And Sharp <laughs> says maybe I'm Danish. And Isaac says I like any color that makes me look. Oh, I'm, I'm quoting. My oh, dad. you're quoting. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Question twelve. Oh, we're up to sixteen questions. Yeah, oh. see, they love to throw them. <laughs> okay, this one is says you should call them potatoes. Why do you love potatoes so much? I wonder who asked us that. The answer is simple. Potatoes are a versatile food that is delicious. It is a multifaceted food. I mean, it is. That's why my relatives, the Irish, need the potato. We love the potato. What? Yes. Yes. What, what is your favorite way to have potatoes? Hash browns. Really? Crispy hash browns. I thought you would say gems. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Uh, really, right. there's hardly any bad way to Wait, have well, a potato. Why do you like potatoes? Uh, I, the same reasons. They're so versatile. Um, I love having them as a side dish because you can do boiled potatoes with peas and white sauce, or you can do mashed potatoes. Um, I'm not a big fan of the French fry, but I do like the gems. You know so, what? I'm actually going to add one more follow-up question here because I think I know what the person asking the question <laughs> would want. If you had to sum up your love of potatoes or potatoes in general in one word, what would it be? Potatoes are what? Fabulous. Fabulous? Necessary. Necessary. Okay, so we've got some more comments. Um, so, sorry. No, I'm sorry. Uh, so have you... When my co-host was talking about white sauce and little <laughs> potatoes and peas, uh, how many of you out there have had that? That is, it's usually like if you have a garden. Oh, man, it's, it's literally, we had that when we were growing up on the farm, and that was one of the best meals you can ever have. So it's just simply that. It's little young potatoes and pea, fresh peas out of the garden and then you make a white sauce and you pour that either over bread or you just have it by yourself, throw a little salt on it. It is fantastic. So we've got some quotes, so. <laughs> Rhonda says taco potatoes. Lefts of Victoria, excellent. I love that. Okay, so they can't do everything right. <laughs> he doesn't Not a like fan lefsa. of lefsa. Charm says fried mashed scallop hash brown boiled whatever maybe i'm irish i love it um young potatoes oh isaac already said that and anna says we have tried that yeah all right you haven't i i really suggest you try it it's just question mm. 13 not related to you at all why haven't you sang happy birthday to your sister-in-law 
I did want to give a shout out at the beginning of today's episode, and I'm sorry I uh, didn't snap, uh, jump in and wish my little baby sister a happy birthday. Um, I'm so thankful God brought her into this world and into my life. So also, yes, if you have a birthday or, you know, of a anniversary or something coming up, let Isaac News know, and we will do a shout-out, and we will try, we will sing happy birthday, happy anniversary. and you're watching it consistently, you are a part of the in crowd, the hip crowd. Um, so, I'd let's... like to say hi to Dorothy. I haven't, uh, I'm glad you joined us. I wish we could see each other again. You sure enjoyed the meals she made for yeah. you, too, up in the yes. time. That was fun. Um, so let's sing. All yes. right. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joanne. We really love you. Happy birthday. All right. Yeah, I um, know. Don't quit my day job. Oh, my goodness. We're up to question 18. <laughs> Cheryl okay. wants to know if you had to get a reptile, which one would you get? Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'd have to research it. Uh, something that wouldn't get out and something that wouldn't choke me. But then something that wouldn't crawl up my arm in the middle of the night and stick its tongue in my ear like a lizard. <laughs> so do, do fish count as lizard as reptiles? <laughs> They're in their own category. Uh, but the, she asked... Um, there are plenty of cool snakes, um, but, you know, snakes can get out and grow bigger, and then they strangle you. I've seen the movies. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I like to hug my pets. That's why I can't. We'll get the video on for you, Isaac News readers, listeners, watchers, next week. So oh. Victoria says, regarding the air fryer, does it ever smell or taste burnt? Hashtag live happy birthday. I have, I have burnt things in it. You can definitely burn bacon in it. and. But man, the cleanup is so yeah, wonderful. Oh. I have not, I've given up on broccoli. Can't do broccoli in it. Because, and then. Um, I, I would like to still try it because I've heard it works And you really can't do well. a grilled cheese in it. At least I can't. No, we cannot do a grilled cheese. But yeah, um, it, if you haven't had one, they're not that expensive, <laughs> and Catherine. they just are easy to clean up, and they're an easy thing. Catherine thinks we should sing a little jingle each week. <laughs> I love it! We should! All we should! All right, question 15. Der Vater? Der Vater. For the... <laughs> German for father, I guess. Yes, for LSM. What is Ooh. your favorite country that you've visited outside the USA? Well, I have to say Denmark, because that's where my dad grew up, um, and where I got to visit, but um, I also love any place in Europe has been very special. Canada's not bad either. All right, question 16. M16 is what you should call. LSD, <laughs> how many continents have you visited? What was your favorite country on each one? Oh, um, wow. Okay, so the uh, North America, I visited Canada and America, so my favorite country there is America, followed closely by Canada. Uh, I've, in Asia, in Asia, I've been to Kazakhstan, um, Jordan, Afghanistan, Afghanistan. I don't, oh boy, Asia is a rough one. Uh, I would say Asia though, it's got to be Kazakhstan, which. We used we would go there. That's where we staged ourselves and went over to Afghanistan from. That was very beautiful. We had a really good view of the mountains of uh, the the big mountains. Um, Have you visited Norway? And then also with uh, the the European. Um, I'm gonna feel kind of foolish because I can't think of all the continents. But uh, Germany been wonderful. Israel, Estonia in the summertime. Uh, Ah, I kind of really want that million dollar question again because now I'm starting to think of places that I would put. Israel is probably home. your favorite. Well, Israel is my. Was that Asia or is that? Israel is my home, what continent? Middle second East? home. Oh. What continent? What Israel. continent is the Middle East? Anywho, <laughs> so also I have not been to South America or Australia, and I would like to see both of those uh, before I die. So uh, getting back to the air fryer question, um, how do you take the burn flavor put? How do you take the burn flavor 
out, maybe? How do you take the burn? Charm, you got to forgive us about burning bacon. Every piece it's of bacon his is favorite, different. Favorite uh, food. If you buy bacon from Sam's Club, it's it's a better kind of bacon, but That's... you buy so much of it. So then I just tried to buy some cheap Walmart bacon. Please forgive me. <laughs> and and then, uh, okay. it was okay. not good. How yeah. do you put out the burn flavor? Um, we just don't eat it if it's burned. Yep. I guess. And then um, I would say Norway if I ever got the chance to go there. And I did have the chance to go when we had some friends there, but I didn't make the journey. So I think I would love Norway. All the fjords and everything, it looks beautiful. Okay, this is from Dunkel. Do you prefer bacon in the air fryer or in the oven? Oh, air fryer. Are air fryers worth the hype? I think I know who wrote that one. <laughs> I, I mean, but yeah, they're definitely... I, I mean, if... If you want to help your wife out, I'm assuming, if you're a husband and you like your bacon, air frying is the way to go. Yes, please. Uh, I mean, there's only, you only put a little chop. bit of, you put water in the bottom of it so the grease falls down into it and you just, pr you don't have to even spray it. And it, you wash it and it's, I mean, the yeah. whole thing is clean. You don't have great bacon grease anywhere. So it's wonderful. All right, number 17. Thank you. I appreciate okay. your forgiveness, John. Okay. <laughs> Are air fryers worth the hype? You didn't answer that. I believe they're worth the hype. I don't believe they're the catch-all because I tried to warm some, uh, left, some leftovers up, and they're not near as fast as a microwave. All right. So uh, question 18, socks. What Will LSD do any... An eating challenge on the show. Maybe some cauliflower, mint, or Brussels sprouts and red Gatorade. Okay, nothing <laughs> red. All right? All, almost anything besides ghost peppers and hot, spicy, and red. I, I will do some spicy as long as it's not done mean. You know, like a, a ghost pepper is out. But uh, red, that goes back to when I was a bad boy when I was not old enough to do something that I did, and it was bad. But bad. would you be willing to do an eating challenge? I would on the conditions that a certain it's amount of... Red. Yeah, yes, of course. I would do anything to help Isaac News get going. All right. Um, Victoria said water, question mark, thank you. And then bacon grease is essential, Charm says, is essential oil. <laughs> yes. That's good. But yes, That's good. Victoria, that uh, bait you... On the web, on the, the YouTube site that we watch, uh, the lady showed us that you just put water in the bottom, so that way when the grease goes to it, it it just up to twenty questions. <laughs> it just disrupts. Okay, and um, LSM, what is your favorite memory? This is from Sunshine. <coughs> Excuse me, you have with your Danish father. Who a favorite memory? I could say a favorite because I have many favorite memories. Um, I think. My, one of my very favorite is when I was very scared and he did not like me coming in asking if I could sleep with him every night. So he sat me down or he actually sat down on my bed one night before I went to bed and worked through the whole Lord's Prayer with me. Um, and it was so special and I just love that memory. <laughs> we have another comment? Yeah. We Remember do have the, the jelly, jelly bean, bean game. game. You mean this one? <laughs> We're going to talk about that. Absolutely. We're going to do the jelly bean, the bamboozle, bean boozle challenge. Not right. your nice edition, so it's from Christmas. So you know they're totally not expired. <laughs> so um, this is from Dr. Connors. This is our last question. If someone had a gun to your head in a <laughs> Well, I don't know what's being said. So. If someone had a gun to your head in a reptile store and you had to buy a reptile to live, what specific? <laughs> What specific reptile would you buy? I swear. How big a gun? <laughs> um, if I had to have a reptile, it would be a some sort something with the name dragon in it. Like a bearded dragon? Yeah, or a snake. A snake. There. A snake. Is that what you want to hear? A snake. <laughs> If someone was forcing me to pick if on something I didn't want under threat of death. All right, we have come to the closing thoughts portion. Do you have any more you want to say before we end our episode tonight? Just thanks you all for uh, adding 
to uh, our, our family's enjoyment and allowing us into your homes on Sunday night. I was going to say the exact same thing. You all make this um, show so much more fun with your comments and your questions. Please keep them coming. Thank you for supporting Isaac like you do. Um, I know he loves doing this. I think he loves doing this too, and you may probably see more of him. It's kind of out of my comfort zone, but I'm trying to be a good good sport here tonight. Um, so I think we got just a few more just disarm the bully. I know karate. Good one, Charm. One that looks toothless, says Rhonda, and y'all rock. Oh, thanks, Charm. All right, so our closing thought tonight um, is a challenge, and it's mostly preaching to myself to choose joy when you have the um, opportunity. Um, life's not always going your way. You still have the chance to choose joy. Um, doesn't mean we can't be sad. Um, it doesn't mean you have to be happy all the time, but choose joy. So I challenge you this week to choose joy with your loved ones and in all that you encounter today. Would you like a t-shirt or a hat? Yes. Send, a, send a notice out um, with, cause before I spend the money on, I mean, the marketing department spends the money. If you would like, you think if you won, would you like a hat or a t-shirt? Mm-hmm. And then we'll figure it out. I'll probably order some of each and, and go from there. Maybe if hats are not our thing, maybe we won't do hats. But that's great advice that my co-sponsor uh, did. And it's been a pleasure co-sponsoring uh, the last 28 years together. Thank you for all your comments, everyone. Chris, that was really sweet. And everybody else, too. Thank you so much. Yes, keep commenting if you want a t-shirt or a hat. Yes, and let us know if you want another parent's perspective video. I think that would be a lot of fun again because yeah, they got some good ones. All right. Yeah.